Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Adam and today we're showing you some new features in Siri that were added in iOS 6. So now you can tweet and uh, see mentioned tweets in Twitter. So let's go ahead and try this out. Siri, tweet, tweeting from my iPhone 5. Here's your tweet. Ready to send it. Yes. So you can see it brings up the Twitter window, it gives you the option to add location and before you tweet it you can actually tap here and edit the tweet. So that's really nice. Uh, you can also uh, see tweets you mentioned in, so let's go ahead and try this out. Siri, show tweets that mention me. Going to Twitter to check your mentions. And it brings you to the mention part of Twitter so you can see all tweets you mentioned in. So. Um, that's a really nice function and the same works as Facebook, you can actually update your Facebook status. Siri can now tell you how long it will take you to get from your location to another location if you were to travel there. So let's try that out. Siri, how long will it take me to drive from here to Paris? Getting directions to Paris. So it shows you the route, shows you how long it will take and how many miles it will take. Starting route to Paris. Head east on the green. So I'm going to end that right there. But it does bring up all the information that you'll need to get there. You can now tell Siri to take a picture and you'll launch the camera app. So let's try that out. Siri, take a picture. And then I can go ahead and take a picture. So that's very nice. You can now ask Siri about sports, so you can say uh, when does a certain team play next, or it can tell you scores. So let's try that out. Siri, when do the Lakers play next? Okay, sports fans, let's take a look. The Lakers Warriors game is 08 October 2012 at 3 a.m. So it brings up this kind of plaque here that tells you when the um, game is and what time it, what time it starts at. So that's really cool. And you can also ask about uh, different scores. So let's try that out. Siri, who won the game between Newcastle and Everton? It's a tight game two to two. So it brings up this plaque with a nice kind of score layout and the different uh, logos for each team and also says what time the final for the Premier League will be so that's really nice they've got that Siri can now tell you what movies are playing near you so let me go ahead and try that out Siri, what movies are playing near me? I'm looking for movies in Enfield I found quite a number of movies playing nearby today. So it brings up this nice kind of layout and it even tells you the rating and what times they're playing at at different cinemas. So it's really, really nice. Saves a lot of time instead of having to go to the website or phoning them up. You can do it straight from Siri now and I really like this feature. Siri can also now give you more information on movies such as what movie was rated and two stars in a certain movie. So let's go ahead and try that out. Siri, who stars in Beverly Hills Cop 2? Looking for Beverly Hills Cop. Which one? Three. Looking up Beverly Hills Cop. And it brings up everyone who, star who stars in it, such as Eddie Murphy, uh, Hector Alonso, and brings up a nice little description on the movie. So I can also go back and pick different ones. So that's really nice that we've got that. And Siri can also find uh, reviews for certain movies. So let's look at a review for Dark Knight Rises. Siri, show me some reviews for the Dark Knight Rises. Rotten Tomatoes gives the Dark Knight Rises an 87% rating. So it brings up a nice statement and shows different ratings with a big percentage of top showing how many reviews were done. 
So um, that's really nice and it's very clear, very nicely laid out. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, there are some other commands, but I just don't have time to go through all of them. I didn't want to make this video too long. So um, I'm going to end it here, but I'm going to end it with uh, one last uh, new feature from Siri. What's the best smartphone? 